Students, it's important that you all know that we had 30 people last year that we buried. And of course, uh, Carlton is one of those people this year. No family is here for that person. So if you as, as students were not his family, there would be no family for him. We looked after Mr. Gray during his last week of life. Um, to tell you what little we know about Mr. Gray was uh, he was a veteran uh, who lived a colorful life with choices that many of us would not have made, um, and he acknowledged that at the end. today because he was dishonorably discharged um, many years ago and would laugh about it now. Um, he lived a different life and acknowledged that in the past he was married only in common law for several years of time. Um, looked fondly upon his past life. Uh, he migrated to Louisville within the last year uh, and was living at a homeless shelter. into our hospital about three times over the course of the month leading up to his death with uh, his illness. Um, but something that was stark about all three of his admissions was his bravery. Um, he explained to his physicians very clearly at every admission that um, if he was to succumb to his illness he wouldn't want heroic measures and for physicians to try to revive him and bring him back to life. That he was not afraid of death and that um, he welcomed it. He, wanted it to a certain way with bravery. Um, this is in contrast to many patients that we see who cling to life with every last hope and every um, remedy possible um, to the point of greater suffering but not Carlton Gray. He, he maintained his dignity and his bravery. On uh, his last admission, um, he knew he was ill and asked that we not do anything more heroically. Um, and one night, he started bleeding very, very profusely um, internally. And we told him he would die if we did not urgently do procedures. And, and he declined them. Um, he asked, uh, or he agreed to speak with the chaplain, and uh, he agreed to pain and anxiety relieving medicines and we just sat and spoke for four hours on end as his mind slowly slipped away into um, eternity. We all often say it funerals that a patient is, or a person is gone but not forgotten. And someone like Carlton Gray, society tried to forget. They tossed him to a homeless shelter, they you know, forgot about him on the side of the road. Um, but for me, and for Dr. Johnson, for you here today, I would like to think that we will remember Carlton Gray, um, at least I will. So despite society's best attempts to forget him, he is gone but not forgotten.
There's a lot of Carlton Grays out there, and we see them come through our door every day. And so I think the challenge we have is when we cross paths with the Carlton Grays, whether it be in the hospital, whether it be that she walk across Fellerman campus, whether they show up in my office, you know, there's always those opportunities to leave people better than we found. It.